Okay, we have finished our back smocking, and I just wanted to show you. This is the wrong side of the fabric. We have done, I have done three rows of back smocking. So it depends on the size of the dress that you're going to make as to how many rows of back smocking you're going to do. Okay, I have also started my first row. This is going to be a cable stitch. And the type of floss I'm using is, it's a real shiny type of floss. It's a DMC, but it's real um, slick. If you're just starting to smock, I recommend you not use this. Um, I'm using it just for my cable stitches only because I wanted my cable stitches to stand out a little bit. And... Right now, it's, they just look like little dots. Once I move the pleat and thread, they'll look a whole lot better. I have uh, smocked half of it because I wanted to show you later on when we start the stitching, the regular other stitches, I'm going to be telling you to invert your fabric. Um, all that means is to turn your fabric upside down and, go the, and you're going to be working the same stitch. Okay, this first row of cable stitch is stitched on row one of our smocking, but it is your second pleated row. So you're going to be starting on really, I, I told you when we pleated it, we're going to pleat the first row we don't smock on and the last row we don't smock on. Okay, so this is our second row, our first row of smocking. Okay. And we're doing a cable stitch here and when we take out our pleating threads a cable stitch is just a pretty straight line of stitches it'll make a straight line which it don't look like that right now but once you move let's see so when I take out my stitch my holding thread it's gonna look something like this I don't know if you can get a good look at that but, and it's just because it's all bunched up now. Okay, like I said, you can go ahead and start this row on the left hand side on row two, or pleated row number two. But I started it in the middle because I wanted to show you. Um, when we start making our design, we're always going to start in the center because we're going to want our design to balance out. And that was one reason why I started here in the center with this this row because I wanted to show you how to, to continue to the other side. Okay, if you start in the middle, you can't go over here and stitch the same way you've been stitching. So this is my dress turned the right way. So all I'm going to do is turn my dress. I'm getting my, I got my thread in my hand. I'm going to turn my dress upside down. Okay. When I turn my dress upside down, I started on the center pleat. So I'm going to take my needle and thread, and I'm going to come back up in the valley of that pleat. The valley of my center pleat. And I started with an up cable, so I'm going to do a down cable. Now I'm going to go over, over two pleats. See, I come up in the middle of this pleat. I'm hoping you can see this. I come up in the middle of this pleat, so I'm going to go over to this pleat. And I did a down cable. So now I'm going to go ahead and do an up cable. Okay, the cable stitch that we did on the back smocking, we're going to continue with that stitch. We're going to do that all the way on this row. You know, I've showed you how to do this stitch so much time, I don't want to bore you sitting here just showing you over and over again. But this time we are working on the right side of our fabric. Okay. 
make sure you pull your stitch in tight. Um, don't pull it so tight that you crush your pleats and you don't want to have it loose where when you take your holding thread out your material just don't hold its pleat. You just want to pull it snug and you want to keep it snug because these pleats are what's going to give your smile, I mean these stitches is what's going to give your um, dress the, the elastic Elastic <laughs> and then you're going to keep going till you get to the end. Remember, do not stitch, do not smock in the place where you marked your for your shoulders. I mean, for your sleeves. Once you get to the end, you are tied off. And we'll be ready to start the next row. So I will be back to show you once I finish this row and show you what we're gonna the next design we're gonna do. Thanks for watching.